Southwest Florida, let's talk about the Southwest Floridians, fishermen's fish. The hard to catch, the hard to land, the oh so elusive, but oh so delicious, and oh so easy to love, Southwest Florida snook. Welcome to Zoe Flow. This is Roger Hill, and this is Roger's son, Trey. Roger's one of the locals who knows how to catch, land, and prepare snook. Summer of eighth grade, the kids over in the halls of Baron Collier would be like, yeah, snook, we're going snook fishing. And I'd be like, I don't know what it is, but I'm going. They love snook fishing. It's a passion. It's therapy for them. It's a good escape. It's an art that I learned by just paying attention to other people that are way better. That turned out to be one of my biggest passions. There's a lot of reasons snooker at the top of the Southwest Florida fishermen's list. Firstly, just the way they hit the bait. It's an ambush predator. They'll sit behind a piling and wait for something to come and then pop. Just the way they hit is, I think, what lights me up. They open up their giant mouths, all the water was there, and the fish just go pop. That's why fishermen say, the snook are popping, but even before that, it's just finding them. First of all, they're elusive. And then you hook them, but that's still just the beginning. But then when you get one on, they freak out. They can dig real hard and fight, but they'll flip out like crazy. You can hook them, but can you land them? If you haven't checked your terminal tackle, if your hooks are weak or not sharp, there's a lot of reasons to lose one. So you can get to the show and never dance. A lot, yeah, quite often. They're heartbreakers. Hurry up, bro, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Oh my God! Oh my God! And then there's eating them. They fillet so well, and it's nice, solid meat. A real fisherman wants to taste the fish and, and let it do the talking. Not, not the sauce, but the butter, simple. Get a nice crust. And then the taste, it's, as the Japanese would say, that unami taste that just evaporates in your mouth. You're not quite sure where it comes from. But you want another bite pretty quick. <laughs> now, once you've tasted a snook, you've got a whole new problem. You see, you can't buy them. The best things in life are free. And there's only two ways to get a snook. Catch it yourself or know somebody who can catch it for you. But you cannot get it in a restaurant. You can't get it in a store. You just got to know someone knows how to catch them. You know, when you catch, you got to share the bounty. You're the hero at any party. You're everyone's best friend. Snook and tarpon are the most elusive fish to be able to actually land. I know many people that have never, ever caught a snook in their life. You just gotta know someone knows how to catch them and listen to what they say. <laughs> Everything they say, and then just do that. Oh my God! Because if you go on your own, you don't have a chance. Big snook. Look at this. 